Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sound of Capricorn. Keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Capricorn. If you'd like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. Repeat that. First link in the description down below for a personal reading. You'll also find a bunch of other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. Should have to go check that out. Going to go buy something. Currently have a sale going on. Also have my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below, and if you like donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. Okay, so, Capricorn, before we get into reading, let's say some prayers first. We have number three with the goddess Kali. Kali universal priestess of the sacred feminine cosmic womb divine creatrix Kali who is before the beginning and after the end and within all between I seek refuge in you offering all to you that I may bear the pain of loss and open to the bliss of rebirth you dwell in the endless vastness beyond all that is you're the reminder of infinite potential the gift of regenerative blessings to rise again in a new form cleanse from the poisons of the past with full presence and peace in this moment for the spiritual benefit of all beings. All right, and then we have number four with the goddess Kuan Yin. Beloved Kuan Yin, goddess, calling through the dancing crane, may your sound, grace, and light shine brighter than my fear or doubt. May your light help my own soul draw near. May I surrender that which no longer serves me with unconditional love and replace it with inspirational inspiration of your divine love all right capricorn so that's prayers now let's see what spirit has in store for yourself so, okay. we have number 26 with harmies messages number six with Rhea protection we also have Apollo number 20 clarity so twos and sixes may be of importance to you here Capricorn so I feel like messages are gonna be more clear for you like psychic messages with Hermes Apollo being there it's also you're, you're receiving some form of protection here but let's get deeper these are the beings you're connecting with Let's get the deeper messages here. So we have number six is the first one. Rhea is the daughter of Gaia and Uranus. She is the wife of Kronos and mother of Zeus, Hera, Demeter, Poseidon, Hades, and Hestia. The fertile earth is her realm. Rhea is also the goddess of mysticism, celebrated through music, dance, and trance. She is the wisdom and the mystery of the earth. In art, Rhea is often depicted on a chariot led by two lions. The swan and the moon are also symbols of Rhea. Kronos, fearful of being overthrown by one of his children, ate each child as he or she was born. When Rhea birthed Zeus, she fed Kronos a stone instead of her beloved child, and hid Zeus in a cave where he was raised safely in secret. Once he reached ma manhood, he overthrew his father. It says Rhea represents the protective aspect of the mother. Unable to continue to feed her young to Kronos, she made a dangerous stand against him. She represents the part of ourselves that cannot bear to deny our natural instincts, propels us to do what we know is right for ourselves, and the things and people we love. We take a stand against external societal rules and follow our inner ethics instead. This is a protection in its highest form. This is the love and protection of what truly is sacred in ourselves and in our lives. This is a time for trusting your instincts and intuition. You may feel torn between your duty to the world and your duty to yourself, but your duty to yourself first it says duty to yourself must always come first. What is that? It is your highest priority to protect the sacred life that has been entrusted to you. Bending the will of peers, media ideals, and other external for influences will only leave you drained and powerless. Your own intuition must be the ultimate ruler in your life. You must be protector of your body, mind, heart, and spirit. 
Only when you have done this can you have the true power and influence in the world. Only at this point can you protect and nurture the things that are outside of you, your friends, your family, schoolwork, or art. This is a time for creating clear and healthy boundaries and honoring your integrity. Trust yourself and create your life from a place of true honesty and self-love. For if every action you take is rooted in your personal truth, then all that you grow will be golden. I, which sign is Capricorn. <laughs> so this is putting yourself first. All right, trusting your intuits, in, intuits, yeah. instincts, and intuition. Okay. Self love, and you have a lot of power when you do that. All right. So then we have number twenty is the next one. Apollo is the son of Zeus and Leto. He is a twin brother of Artemis and carries a silver bow and arrows. The god of sun, illumination, clarity, prophecy, art, and music. Apollo had many oracles who spoke his messages to those who traveled to his shrines to hear his wisdom and prophecy. He is also the leader of the muses and the director of their choir. Apollo is a great protector of the people and places he loves. His realm is the realm of the light. If you draw on this card, the light of Apollo is a touching you. All becomes clear in his light, and this is a time for truly seeing what is, a time for connecting to your personal truth and removing the dust from your eyes and from the corners of your life. The light of Apollo makes all things shine. This is a time for getting clear and centered. Apollo's light also brings joy and creativity with it. You have the great creative power available to you, the power to truly live your greatest potential. This may relate to all kinds of relationships, school environment, or home environment you want for yourself. You may have just experienced a period of confusion or change in your life that left you with a feeling of being up in the air, not quite adjusted to the transitions that took place, and perhaps not quite sure of where you stand. Apollo comes now to bring the light in order to your new life. This is a good time to write, make plans, and establish new routines. Alright. This is like... You're being touched by Apollo, Capricorn. You're getting more clear. There's more creativity. There's more. There's like you're gonna live to your greatest potential. Okay, the things that you want for yourself. It's a creative time for you. It's a time to take a stand for what is you. What is it you want for yourself in your life? The old has been cleared away, and a light shines on you where you are today. Stand in the light of clear vision and create the life you want to live. So you create the light you want to live now. Capricorn. Now because you've become yourself. You're standing with yourself here. It says the power is yours. Capricorn. Number 26 is the next one. Hermes is the son of Zeus and the nymph Maya. He is an extremely clever trickster by nature. and is a divine messenger delivering messages for Zeus. He is a god of travelers and guides souls traveling to the underworld in the afterlife, which is the realm of Hades. He has wings on his hat, a heralds wand, and sandals. He invented the lyre, a mystical instrument. Hermes creates the bridge of communication between the worlds. He is a link between God and man, between the heavens, earth, and the underworld. He is also known as a trickster, a thief of the gates, a watcher in the night, and a bringer of dreams. Of all Greek gods and goddesses, only Hermes, Hades, and Persephone have the ability to travel in and out of the underworld. It says Hermes is a trickster and often sends messages in the form of riddles and dreams. When life trips us up and we find ourselves on a strange, perplexing journey that unravels the mysteries of life and ourselves, this is Hermes at work. Countless stories tell of people finding true meanings in their life after experiencing some not so good things. Messages surround you right now. But they aren't obvious. They are cryptic and may come in strange ways, but they are there. This is a time to pay close attention to signs and signals, and also make a good time may be a good time to start a dream journal. Hermes is also the guardian of those who travel, of those who cross borders and boundaries. These include both the physical borders of home, city, and country, and the inner borders of thought, feeling, imagination, and experience. New worlds are opening up to you. This may be a time for traveling to new places, expanding your horizons. Maybe you're wanting to go somewhere new, Capricorn. Alright, but you have that power. To, you're, you're having that power now. Okay? To live your life how you want. Or having other new experiences. This is a time 
for expanding your awareness through art, music, and literature. Philosophy and history may also expand your personal understanding of life. If you're restless and feel that there's more to life, more to learn and experience, but don't know where to start, start where you are. Start the journey now. There are endless worlds to explore. It's time to open up, investigate new ideas, and cross the borders of what you previously knew to be your reality. There's so much to discover, uncover, and see. The gateways of knowledge and perception are open to you now. So take a deep breath and dive in. Remain on the outlook, for life is offering you opportunities, but you need to open your eyes and pay attention. It is likely you will be led, in a strange hermetic way, through the realm of unveiling mysteries and into the realm of new amazing worlds of experience and feeling and thought. You only need to be open and aware. All possibilities present in every moment. Don't get caught up in how the messages come. Just pay attention when they arrive. It's telling you pay attention when the messages arrive. Like, you're being sent signs, signals, maybe even through your dreams, Capricorn, messages. Okay. So let's get some more some charms for yourself. Yeah, Thoth. This dragon moon, which is some of the in over here. Yeah, this Aztec serpent god. This white raven, which you can't do. White raven being a symbol of peace, cleansing, purification, protection, all that good stuff. Yeah, Virgo. So you have those placements when around you. Yeah, this dragon, which you're connected to. Dragon is being power, strength, good luck, prosperity, supernatural powers. We also have the rainbow on it, which is ascension. We have this moon beetle, which you connect to. Connect with the moon, Capricorn, the knight, the beetle. We have Horus. We have this moth, which you connect to. Moth is also connected to the knight, the moon, the stars. Um, moth is also spiritual initiation, transformation, waking of psychic gifts and abilities, which we do see that here in this reading. This is just plain. So, that's all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below. A personal reading. I also got my Etsy shop going to go buy something. Really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, do like subscribe. Bye guys.